everybody. Sunday morning gentle yoga. We're gonna lie on our back to start. Back to start. Oh. <laughs> you can come there whenever you're ready. Don't Usually by the time I start the video, everybody in the studio has like been there for like five minutes. Today, oh. we're gonna do a little chit chatty. It's okay. <laughs> we're getting it together. That gives you, if you're watching at home time, to also get it together, right? Lay down, find your spot, start to bring your focus to your breath. Don't control your breath at first. Just start to notice it. Just let it take over. All right, stop, please. Your breath is pushing away all the other distractions. Pushing out all the other distractions. Find yourself. Just completely focused. Your practice. Completely present to your mat, your practice. you feel like you've got that full focus on your breath, start to add that element of control to your breath. Just breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Allow your breath to become longer, slower, deeper. Inhale, you pull your breath all the way down into your belly. Push it back, so you're pushing it all the way out. Feel your foot start to move just with one breath. do a little bit of twisting at first once the first touch moves you're gonna hug your knees all the way in to your chest let your arms go out long in that T position then as you exhale drop your knees to the right as you drop your knees to the right when you're in that supine twist just take your left leg and kick it out just kick it towards your right fingertips maybe you'll make it all the way there maybe not right bend back into it pull it back in pull your knees back up to center then do that the other way drop your knees to the left take your right foot Kick it out towards your left fingertips. Bend back into that right knee. Pull it in. Pull both knees up to center. Just do that a couple more times, right? So you drop your knees to the right. You kick that left foot out. Bring the left foot back in. Pull your knees up to center. Drop your knees to the left. Kick your right foot out. Bring it back in. Pull your knees back to center. Let's just do it one more time each way. Drop those knees over to the right. Kick the left foot out. Bring it back in, pull it back to center. Drop those knees to the left, kick the right foot out, bring it back in, pull your knees back up to center. This time as you get your knees back up to center, take your hands to the crease of your knees. Let's drop that into easy sit, right? And then we're gonna come around all the way into tabletop. So tabletop, that's your hands and knees, but I'm gonna go sideways here because I want you guys to be able to see everything that we're doing, right? As you inhale here, right, you're gonna come into cow. 
You're gonna tuck your tailbone, rock your belly, take your chin to the sky. And then from there, right, you're gonna keep coming forward, push your hips forward, draw up your belly. So you're in a little modified F dog here. It looks like this, right? And then as you exhale, bring your hips back over your knees, shoulders back over the wrists. Now tuck your chin to your chest, round arch your back, so you're here in cat, right? And then from cat, just keep pushing back all the way until you're in child's pose. All right, so we're gonna keep doing that whole motion here. We come up, we go right into cow. As you're in your cow and your chin is tilting up, shift your hips forward, drop your belly towards the ground, look up, and then come back to tabletop, bring it into a cat. And then from your cat, just keep pushing back, child's pose. <coughs> we'll see that a couple more times. Bring it up through cow, drop into your modified up dog, bring it to cat, Shift at your child's pose. Do it twice more. Come up. Cow. Drop it to that modified up dog. Bring it to cat. Take it back to child's pose. One more time like that. Right? Bring it up through your cow. Drop it into your modified up dog. Shift it to your cat. Take it all the way to child's pose. And then from here, when you're ready in your child's pose, now you're just gonna bring it back up to a neutral tabletop. I'm gonna come face forward here because it's gonna be easier for you guys to see that way, all right? So we're here in tabletop. Now, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take your right hand and bring it up. Just put your right fingertips on the side of your neck so your elbow's going up to the sky, all right? Now, as you exhale, bring your right elbow to your left tricep, all right? So you're just kind of crunching in and then open back up as much as you can with that right elbow. Do it twice more. Tap and open, tap and open. Now this time as you open, take your right hand all the way up to the sky and then dive it underneath your left armpit. It comes up, spreads in the middle. You wanna let your right shoulder come all the way down. Let the right side of your head come down. Maybe you're gonna reach that left hand forward. Maybe you're gonna wrap that left hand around your back. You can take a couple breaths here in the spread the needle. If you wanna step out with your left foot, you can do that. You don't have to keep your left knee in, right? Find your variation of this pose. Give yourself three or four more breaths right here. And we'll see if you feel this in the right shoulder. You can feel it in the hip flexors if you step that left foot out. You can feel it in the left chest if you wrap the hand around your back or in the left shoulder, sorry. You can feel it in the left chest if you reach your left hand forward. Just take two more breaths here. From here, you're gonna pull that right hand back. Or sorry, left hand back. <laughs> Bring it back by your face, plant it, open back up with that right arm, and then just drop it back down into tabletop. Let's try that on the other side. All right, so now you're gonna take your left fingertips and just bring them to the back of your neck. So you're pushing that left elbow open. You're gonna crunch in, touch your left elbow to your right tricep. Open back up, push that left elbow high to the sky. Do it twice more. Crunch in, open up, crunch in, open up. Now this time as you open up, take your left hand high to the sky, and then dive it underneath your right armpit. Come all the way to the the needle. Same thing as we did on the other side. Left shoulder comes down, left side of the head comes down. Maybe you reach that right hand forward, maybe you wrap that right hand around your back, maybe you step out with the right foot, or you keep the right knee in. Right? All different options. Find what feels the best to you. So you're here with that left shoulder and opening up, you reach those left fingertips as far towards the right side of the room as you can. Two more breaths. Whatever that right hand is, bring it back by your face. You step that right foot out, step it back in, use your right hand, push back up, open up with the right hand, and drop it down. And <coughs> the top. All right, now from here, you're gonna tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, come into your first down dog of the morning. Right? Now we've got the fingers spread wide, pointer finger facing forward, pushing your belly toward your upper thigh, push your heels towards the 
ground. Maybe you walk the dog here, pressing one heel towards the ground as the other knee bends. Then you switch it out. That feels good. Keep going. If you'd rather just sway your hips or shift the plank and back, or if you'd rather just stay still, that's all fine too. Your plank is found where it's be. Able to feel every part of your body. Check in with your body. Notice what's going on. Make sure you're listening to your body as we go through the rest of the practice. All right, you're going to bend your knees here. Look between your thumbs. Bring your feet forward to your hands. Come to forward fold. Let your belly touch. Your upper thighs with your head and hanging long. All right, we're going to do a, a basic sun salutation here. I'm going to do the first one nice and slow, and then we'll do it a couple more times through. It's pretty basic. This is kind of in reverse. You'll see what I mean here. Let's go through it for the first time. We're going to inhale, take a half of monkey, pull your shoulders even with your hips. Your back is nice and flat, and the crown of your head is towards the front of the room. As you exhale, fold back down. As we inhale here, we're going to reverse swan dive, come all the way up to standing. I'm going to stand back a little bit here. Now, as you exhale, you're going to bend your elbows, start to pull them down towards your ribs and back behind you. As you're doing that, push your hips forward. Take your chest and your gaze up. So we're in this little back bend, right? Then you're going to inhale, come up tall. As you exhale, just keep moving that right arm. It's going to sweep back behind you. The left hand's going to reach in front. It's going to this open arm twist towards the right side of the room. Your palms should be open. Your thumbs up to the sky. Palms open towards the right wall, as I want to say. All right, as you inhale here, take both hands back up overhead. Now go the other way. Take that left hand back, bring the right hand forward. Then inhale. Take both hands up to the sky. Now as you exhale, just let your right hand drop straight down. Slide it down your right thigh. Reach that left hand up and over. So it's a nice side bend. Come back up to center. And then drop that left hand down along your left thigh. Reach that right hand up and over. And bring both hands back up to center. And then as we exhale here, we're just going to swan dive it back down. Into forward fold. Belly to thighs. Crumb the head towards the mat. All right, so let's do that twice more through. Now you've seen it, we're gonna move a little faster, we'll move with our breath. We inhale, take that half of the monkey. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up. Exhale, bend your elbows, bring them towards your ribs, go right into your back bend. Inhale, pull everything back up. Exhale, just keep sweeping that right hand back, reach the left hand forward. Inhale, bring both arms overhead. Exhale, go the other way, take that left hand to the sky. Bring the right hand forward. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, just drop the right hand, reach the left hand up and over. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, drop the right hand down. Left hand down, sorry. Take the right hand up and over. Inhale, bring it all back to center. Exhale, swan dive it down. Forward fold. Let's do that one more time through. We're going to inhale, half lift to monkey. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale. Reverse swan dive, bring it all the way up. And then as you exhale, cactus arms right into the back bend. Inhale, come up tall. Exhale, sweep the right hand back, reach the left hand forward. Inhale, arm twist, both hands up to the sky. Exhale, go the other way, left hand back, right hand forward. Inhale, both hands up to the sky. Exhale, drop the right hand, reach the left hand up and over. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, drop the left hand, reach the right hand up and over. Inhale, back to center, and then exhale, swan dive, back down, forward fold. Take another half lift to monkey here, and then fold back down. Now what we're going to do from here, right? So lift your toes up off the mat, right? Lift, your, lift the whole ball of your right foot up off the mat. See if you can take your right fingertips and just slide them underneath your right foot. So your toes are touching your wrist. You step down for a little pressure. On that palm, should feel okay, right? If you can't get all the way back there, it's okay. Just go as far as you can. Now try it on the left side, right? Lift the ball to the feet. Take that left hand, slide underneath it. So you've got both hands underneath your feet, both of your toes up towards your wrists. We call this gorilla pose, right? What you're gonna do here, bend into your elbows. Let them go out to the side. See if you can pull the crown of your head a little bit lower. All right, and then as you inhale, lift up, let your arms straighten. Kind of point the crown of your head towards the front of the room. And then from there, relax it back down. Now you're going to work your hands out from underneath your feet. Come back to a regular forward fold. 
Keep your right foot forward here. Take your left foot. Step it way back behind you. So we're coming to runner's lunge. You want that right knee right over the right ankle and the left leg nice and long. We're going to drop that left knee down to the mat at first. So dropping that left knee, letting your left foot flatten. Keep your right knee right over your right ankle. Get that left knee back behind your left hip. And then we're going to rise up into kneeling crescent. You can walk it up one hand at a time, or maybe you can just take that whole upper body and peel it up. Reach your hands out towards the sky. Right? Think about your upper body reaching back. Maybe your fingertips are reaching back. Maybe your chest and your chin start to go up to the sky. You keep pushing that lower body forward. Like there's a big board in front of your right knee. You're trying to push that right knee past it. But there's resistance there, right? You should feel that, that, that should make you feel that opening in the hip flexors. Now from here, we're going to take it to half pyramid. Push your right leg all the way straight. Let your right toes slip up off the mat. Drop your hands down on either side of your right leg and take your upper body over that right leg. You want to feel that stretch in your right hamstring. So square up your hips here. Draw that right hip forward. Push that left hip back. The more you push the left hip towards the left heel, the more you're going to feel this. But I don't want you to sit down all the way on the heel, even if you could. Right? You want to give a little space to feel the stretch. All right, now come back forward here. Bend back into that right knee. Bring it over your right ankle. Tuck your left toes under. Come up off your left knee. You're going to drop your left heel to the mat. And we're going to rise all the way up to sky archer, right? So we start to come up. We push that right leg straight. Let your hips turn towards the left long edge of your mat. Take your hands up to the sky. Grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. And pull towards the back of the room. So your left toes point to the left. Your right toes stay pointed to the top of your mat. You feel that opening again in your right side body. All right, release your hands here. Both hands go straight up to the sky. You're going to turn your right toes now towards the long left edge of your mat. So now you're here in the full five-pointed star. Take your hands, sweep them back behind you. So you're going to interlace your hands behind your back, right? Pull your shoulder blades together so you can push those knuckles towards the floor. You can take a little back bend here where you push your hips forward, chest and gaze to the left if that feels good. And then come up tall. Now from here, you're going to bend just into your left knee. Bend into your left knee and then start to lean forward. Bring your left shoulder towards the inside of your left knee. Maybe you can let the crown of your head go all the way towards the ground, looking back between your legs. If you don't go all the way down, it's okay. But then start to lift your hands up and off your low back as much as you can, opening up that shoulder. Now, release your hands here to the mat and push that left leg straight. All right, so now you're here in a wide forward fold, letting the crown of your head come towards the mat. As we inhale next, take a half lift, just pull your shoulders even with your hips. Crown your head towards the front of the room. And then as you exhale, fold back down. Now from here, you're gonna turn your right toes back towards the front of the room. Walk yourself back around in corners lunge. You can keep that left heel up or down here, right? Up to you. Plant your right hand, or left hand, on the inside of your right foot. Take your right hand up to the sky. So we're just in this twisted lunge. Right, you want to here. Now, from your twisted lunge, reach your right hand back behind you, right? And then pick up your left hand. Your left hand is also going to reach back behind you. And you're peeling your chest just a little bit up off your right thigh. Your palms are up to the sky. Thumbs are coming together. You're hovering right over that right leg, right? Now, push your palms forward. Reach them towards the front of the room. Now, palms face each other. Thumbs are up to the sky. Now, you can drop your back heel. It's okay, right? Sweep your hands back again. Bring them forward again. Do it one more time. Sweep them back. Bring them forward. Now, this time, as your hands are reaching forward, everybody's going to drop that left heel. Your left hand is going to spin around, come back behind you. Bring yourself right up into warrior two. So got that deep bend in the right knee, sending that right knee to the pinky toe side of the foot. Turn your left palm up to the sky here. Sorry, left palm, right palm up to the sky. Scoop up with your right hand, let your left hand trail along your left thigh or wrap around behind your back. So we're in this big reverse warrior. Keep bending into the right knee. Keep reaching back with those right fingertips. All right, we're going to cartwheel our hands around here. 
They're gonna land on either side of your right foot. Right, this is everybody's favorite move, right? You're gonna push forward with those left toes, straighten your right leg, let your left leg come up to the sky, so kind of the standing split. Now you don't have to stay here, right? What I want you to do is sweep your left toes over off the right edge of your mat. Then just tap them down. And then pull that right leg, left leg back up. Do it two more times. Sweep that leg over, tap your toes down, pick it back up. Do it one more time, sweep it over, tap those toes down. Now that those toes are tapped down, right? Both sets of toes are on the ground, your left toes are outside the right edge of your mat. Start to bend into both knees. Let your left knee drop just outside of your right heel. Flatten out your left foot once you've got the knee down. And then let your left hip come all the way to the ground. Right, so we end up in little twists here. You're going to twist to the right. Let your right hand come back behind your right hip. Let that left right arm hug around your right knee. Look over your right shoulder. It feels okay now. Maybe here you lift up the right hand and reach it straight back behind you. You're good for support. Can't kick it out. Wherever you are here, sweep both hands back in front of you. Bring them inside with your right foot up at the top of your mat. We're going to stand up here. We're going to come to forward fold, right? The key, I always tell you guys, get the left hip up first. So press into your right foot. Press into your left knee. Press into your palms. Get your left hip up off the ground first. Then you've got lots of freedom of movement just to drop it back into forward fold. All right. All right. Let's do that one more time on the left side. But we're going to take that half up to monkey. We're going to start with the gorilla, right? So pulling your shoulders even with your hips, and then fold back down. Lift your left toes up, slide that left palm underneath, then lift your right toes up so you can slide your right palm underneath. So if you're in this gorilla pose again, you bend your elbows, send them off the side as much as you can, really pull the crown of your head towards the ground. Then come up, straighten out your arms, take the crown of your head towards the front of the room. Lengthen everything out. And then we're gonna come back down, and then from there, we're going to take another half of the monkey, fold. Now keep your left foot forward. Step way back with that right foot. So come into runner's lunge here. I feel like I lost my light. There we go. Screen. All right. So once we're here in this runner's lunge, you're going to drop down to your right knee. Let your right foot flat. Your right knee should be back behind your right hip. You still want that left knee right over the left ankle. Right? So adjust that. If you need to, we're going to come up to kneeling crescent. You can do it one hand at a time, or if you just use your core strength, feel everything all the way up. And again, we're going to lean back here with the upper body, right? So the chest goes towards the sky, the fingertips reach back, the lower body is pushing forward. Right? That left knee is trying to push past that invisible wall. And then from here, we're going to bring it down into half pyramid, push your left leg all the way straight. Let your hands come on either side of your left leg. Drape that upper body over the left leg. We're off your hips here. Pull the left hip forward, draw the right hip back. You drape that upper body right over that left leg. So you feel the stretch in your left hamstring. You can put your hands wherever you want. It's going to feel differently if they're up by your left ankle, and if you're by your left knee, or by your right knee, or by your hips. Okay, just find where it feels good to you, where you're feeling the stretch. All right, let's walk it back forward here, bend back into your left knee, bring your hands on the other side of your left foot. Now you're gonna tuck those right toes under, come up off your right knee, drop the right heel to the ground, so the right toes are pointed to the right, left toes point to the top of the mat. We're gonna come all the way up. You're not moving your feet, you're just pushing that left leg straight, letting your hips turn towards the right long edge of your mat, taking your hands up to the sky, grab your left wrist with your right hand, and pull back into your sky archer. You're just going to release your hands, both hands go straight up to the sky, pivot those left toes towards the right long edge of your mat. So now you're here in five pointed star. Reach up high, lengthen everything out. And then take your hands, sweep them back behind you, interlace your hands behind your back. Pull your shoulder blades together, press those knuckles towards the floor. You can turn into a little back bend. And then come up tall. Now this time, as we come down, you're gonna bend into your right knee. So it's like a little skandasana, right? Bend as deeply as you can into your right knee. Fold forward, bring your right shoulder towards the inside of your right knee. Maybe it doesn't come all the way, that's all right. Let the crown of your head face towards the ground as much as you can. 
hold those arms up and off your low back. That's what I'm teaching. Kind of a humble Tadasana. Constituting a humble warrior in Tadasana. Right now, from here, you're just going to release your hands, take it to the center of the mat, push that right leg straight, and just think into your full wide legged forward fold. Take another half of the monkey, right? It's wide fold, so you're just pulling your shoulders in with your hips, and then you're crowning your head, point towards the right wall. And then fold back down. Now, to fold back down, we're going to take that little yogi walk over towards our left leg, bring it back in a runner's lunge. Facing the left side of the room. All right now, from here, keep your right hand on the inside of your left foot. Take your left hand up to the sky. Come here towards your lunge. Shoulders are stacked, your chest is open towards the left side of the room. Crown the head towards the mirror. You can drop your right heel for this next part, or you can keep it up if you want, right? You're going to reach that left hand back behind you. Right? So your left palm's facing to the sky, your thumb's coming towards your body. And then sweep your right hand back there. Right palm up to the sky, thumb facing left. Right thumb facing left thumb. Peel your chest just a little bit up off that left thigh. Now from here, just take your hands reaching forward so your palms face each other and thumbs are up to the sky. Do that twice more. Sweep them back. Bring them forward. One more time. Sweep them back. And then bring them forward. Now this time as you bring them all the way forward, that right hand is going to come up around and you're just going to drop yourself right in to warrior two. Give me a warrior two. Turn that left palm up to the sky and then sweep it back. Come in to your reverse warrior. Left hand can go along, right hand can go along your right thigh or wrap behind your back. Wherever you are, bend more deeply into that left knee. One more space go. And then we're going to cartwheel our hands around, land them on either side of the left foot, right? Here we go, into our standing split. So you're pushing off that right foot, straight down the left leg. You don't have to get the right foot high, right? We're just going to sweep it over, tap those right toes off the left edge of your mat. And then bring it back up. Do that twice more. Tap the toes, bring it back up. Tap the toes. Now you're just going to stay there with the toes tapped. Start to bend into both knees, bend into your left knee, bend into your righty. Drop your right knee down just outside your left ankle. Let your right foot flatten. And then from there, you're going to let your right hip come all the way to the ground. All right, so on this little twist, my neck like to quit be facing back, but it's okay, right? So we're here in this twist. We're going to twist to the left, bring your left hand back behind your left hip. Take your right hand, either hug around that left knee or maybe hook the right elbow over the left knee. Once you're in place and if it feels okay, take your left hand and just reach it towards the back wall. Open up that chest a little bit more. If that doesn't feel good or you need the support, then drop your left hand down. And you're gonna take that left hand, sweep it all the way back around, bring both hands to the inside of your left foot. So we're gonna rise up here. Remember your key here to get the right hip off the mat. Press into your left foot, press into your right knee, press into both hands, lift the right hip, and then just bring yourself back into forward fold. Now this time, from your forward fold, you can toe your feet out wide to the edges of your mat. <coughs> Turn your heels in and your toes out. I'm just going to get myself a block because I'm going to be late today. All right? Here we go. Drop down into your blossom squat. You can do it using your block if that feels better. All right? So when you drop down, maybe you look like this. And if you're comfortable there, then you stay right here. Maybe right, you use the block and it looks like this. So you sit down on the block and it feels better. If you don't have a block or it still feels not good to you with or without the block, then you're going to drop all the way down to your glutes and bring the soles of your feet together to the inbound angle. Right? These are all the options. I just want you to pick one where you're comfortable, where you're going to be able to stay for a few moments. So you're able to reconnect with your breath instead of just thinking about how much you hate the pose that you're in. Right? That is what we want. Make sure you still have that full focus on your breath. Make sure you still have full control of your breath. If you lost either of those things while we were flowing, this is your chance to get it back here. Slow your 
breaths. Lengthen your breaths. Deepen your breaths. From here, let's come down. All right, I want you all to come to tabletop right now. Right, I'm going to show you what we're going to do for our core work. You don't have to do it yet unless you want to, right? But I'm going to show you the three options from easiest to hardest. All right, I shouldn't say it like that, but it's true, right? <laughs> You're going to choose which one you're in the mood for today. All right, so you're going to come down to your form, right? So, right now, I'm in a tabletop form. Like I said, you don't have to do it right now. You can watch all the options. But the options will be, right, once you are down on your form, if you're just going to stay here with your hips over your heels, mostly in tabletop, except for your, on your form, right, then you take your right leg and you're just going to extend it long and you're going to drop it back to tabletop. Good luck, people. Drop it back to tabletop. You're just going to go back and forth, right? That's pretty easy. The other option, right, you move the knees back so that you're in full modified forearm side plank, right? Now here, that's my toes. So I'm gonna have to come a little angle here so you can see my whole body. All right, now I'm in modified side plank, right? What I'm gonna do here, if I'm in modified side plank, I'm gonna press my right toes. We'll start with the left toes. I'm gonna try to push my left toes into the ground, lift my left knee, and then I'm gonna drop it down, press into my right toes, lift my right knee, drop it down. So you're just going back and forth, back and forth here. Now, if you're in full forearm plank, right? This is a third option. Then you're here, and you just drop your right knee, you pick it up. You drop your left knee, you pick it up. Right? So if you're down in modified plank, always one knee is on the ground. Right? If you're in full plank, <coughs> always one knee is off the ground. So again, if all of that is too much, then you're here and your tabletop, extend, drop, extend, drop. Right? So you choose where you want to be with it. We're going to do it for a minute, starting <laughs> now. You can change versions, right? If you start off doing the hard ones and those get to be too much, make it a little bit easier. Maybe you're like, okay, a minute, then fine. I'm doing the easy ones the whole time. That's okay too. more seconds. And then when you're ready, everybody's going to come to their knees if you weren't already. Push all the way back to child's pose. Should feel good. When you're ready, when you're child's pose, you're gonna slide forward, right? And just come on to your belly. So first, just like we did before, right? You're gonna bring your hands back behind you, interlace your hands behind your back. Put your thumbs on your low back, sort of pull your shoulder blades together. See how my shoulder blades are already lifting up off the floor. Then I'm gonna pick my head up and off the floor, turn the crown of the head, turn your face, I should say towards the front of the room, right? Really push those knuckles back as far as you can. Maybe you start to lift them up and off your low back. If you want to add on with your feet and engage your quads, lift your knees, lift your toes, go for it. If it feels better with the feet on the ground, stay right there. Take four more breaths here. And then let yourself come all the way down. Right? Everybody's going to take their right ear to the mat. And you're going to take your arms out to a T. Now, from here, you're going to bend into your left knee. Bring your left palm 
palm in towards the left chest. I'm gonna go at this angle again here because I want you to be able to see my whole body, right? And then I'm gonna push into my left hand. I'm gonna roll myself over to my right hip. So see my right arm still hanging out back here. It's coming straight out of my shoulder. Push yourself over, bend into your left knee. Drop that left knee down, back behind, or drop that left knee, that left foot down, back behind your right thigh. So I still got my right, the right side of my head on the mat. I'm rolling right over the right shoulder. So the more I push my chest up towards the ceiling, the more I'm gonna feel it in the right shoulder, right? So you can do that by really opening up the left knee. You can push into there, let your chest start to open more. So you can take your left hand, wrap it around behind your back, let your chest open a little bit more, or you can keep it on the ground, right? You can have that left knee kind of angling towards the ground, or you can really push it up towards the ceiling. It's gonna make you feel it more. Your right fingertips are reaching over towards the right side of the room. All right, so we'll take four more breaths here. left arm wherever it is bring it back by your chest by your face push off with those left toes roll yourself back over onto your belly keep both arms long right now you're going to turn your left ear to the mat so you're looking to the right and then from there bend into that right palm put the right palm by your chest you're going to push roll over onto your left hip lift your right leg up and then drop that right foot down outside your left leg okay you're going to adjust with that right knee the more it points towards the ground less you're going to feel, the more you push it up towards the side, the more you're going to feel. So you can keep that right hand by your face, or you can wrap it around behind your back. And when that right shoulder opens, you feel a little more on the left shoulder. One more breath. are still in that T position. All right, now from here, I come back around onto my mat. All right, now you're gonna bring your arms here into cactus arms. So you're gonna bend your elbows. I'm gonna turn the other way so I can do the right side first. You guys just stay where you are. All right, we're gonna do our right side first. All right, so I'm lying down, so I'm cactus arms. So my elbows are even with my shoulders, and I'm looking to the right. Now, you're gonna bend into your right knee. Your right knee is not gonna leave the ground. You're gonna bend it and slide it along the ground. Bring your right knee up towards the right shoulder, towards the right elbow, I should say, right? So everything stays on the ground. So just slide that right knee up. The more you bring it up towards your right shoulder, the more sensation you're gonna feel in your right hip flexor. This is half frog. Let's take four more breaths here. Slide that right knee all the way back down. You're still in your cactus arm. We're gonna do that on the other side. So now you're gonna take your left knee. Same thing, just slide it up towards your left elbow. So keeping those cactus arms, you can turn your head if you want to to the left now, if it was to the right before, vice versa. Right? Or you can have your forehead straight on the mat if that's what feels good to you. Turn around to that place here. Now slide that left knee down and lift that on your belly. Now what we're going to do from here, you're going to take your right arm, reach it out all the way long. 
Let your head rest on your right shoulder. And then use your left hand. You're gonna push yourself up onto your right hip. Right, so I look like this. Now, you can bend a little bit into your right knee. It's not core work, right? You don't have to be perfectly aligned. What you wanna do here, bend into your left knee and see if you can grab a hold of your left ankle with your left hand. And then just let everything relax, right? Push that left knee back behind you. Head can rest on your right shoulder. Just that opening in the quad. Like I said, you can do whatever you want with your right foot. You can kick forward, you can stay long. Let your left knee rest on top of your right knee, or you can push it back behind you. And play with it a little bit, see what feels right to you. But mainly, what we're going for here is this opening through the white right quad, right hip flexor. Release that left leg, put it back on top. Now, you're gonna bring your left hand in front of you and let yourself roll back onto your belly. Now we're gonna do that the other way. So again, I'm gonna turn around here. So you guys just stay where you are. You're gonna take your right hand, push yourself now, on, or extend your left arm long first, right? I should say that. So here, we're extending that left arm all the way along. You're pushing over onto your left hip so you can rest your head on your left shoulder. And then whatever you wanna do with your left leg, Maybe you bend it and kick it forward, right? Maybe it just swoops forward, but you're gonna pick that right foot up, bend into your right knee, so you can grab a hold of your right ankle with your right hand to get that quad stretch. Right now release that right leg you're gonna roll back onto your belly okay and then from here bring your hands to your chest we're just gonna push ourselves up into tabletop and then let your hips come to one side or the other we're gonna come around now we're gonna lay down on our back right you're gonna swing your feet around so your feet are pointed towards the front of the room get your toes to the very top of your mat take your arms out long tuck your chin to your chest and round down until you're laying on your back. All right, take your hands to your sides, palms face down. You're gonna walk your heels just a little bit closer to your glutes, as close as you can get them. All right, maybe you're in close enough that you can feel your fingertips brush the back of your heels. Push all four corners of both feet into the mat and lift your hips up to the sky. So you're in this nice gentle bridge. Now, you can make it a supported bridge if you want. Use your block, slide underneath those hips, let your hips rest on the block. Or, or maybe you stay unsupported and you just use the strength in your legs to push those hips up. Everybody should have their shoulders at least slightly tucked so your chest pops open. If you're unsupported and you want to make this really deep, work one entire shoulder than the other underneath your body. Press your hands underneath your body, it'll push your hips even higher. you want to be with it, take three more breaths. And then from here, if you're an unsupported bridge, you're going to let your hips float back down to the mat. Right? Maybe if you're in a supported bridge, you want to stay here, keeping that block under your hips. You don't have to though, right? Decide you want to pull the block out, you can. And you're going to take your feet straight up to the sky. Right, so I'm flexing my feet like I'm going to step on the ceiling. So I'm in a supported waterfall right now because I've got the block underneath my hips. It makes it slightly more intense than regular waterfall with your feet, I mean, with your hips flat on the ground. But you decide which one you need, right? Maybe you don't have a block and you want some more intensity, you can come to full shoulder stand. That's where you lift your hips up on your own, put your hands in the small of your back supporting yourself on your shoulders and your forearms. So you can come to shoulder stand, you can be in waterfall, you can be in supported waterfall, right? Wherever you are, you're getting that blood to go from the feet where it cools all day, back to your head and your heart where we need it more. If you want that, 
in that whenever version of the inversion you're in, you're also naturally lower, lowering your blood pressure, flooding the body with those anti-aging, anti-stress hormones. All good things happen when you're a little bit upside down. Give yourself that opportunity. Give yourself that gift. ready to come out of this. We're all going to come out of it the same way. You're going to bend your knees, let them scrape right along your face and body. Slowly drop your feet back down to the mat. All right, let your feet come back down to the mat. If you still have a block under your hips, right? Now you're just going to lift up, slide that block out from underneath you. Let your hips be flat on the ground. Right? Everybody's going to take their feet up to the sky again. Right? This time, they don't have to be right over your hips don't have to be right, or your feet don't have to be right over your hips. They can be a little angle forward if that feels better to you. You're going to separate your feet. Maybe it's a slight separation. Maybe it's a big separation. Bend your knees. Again, maybe it's a big bend. Maybe it's a little bend. Maybe you're not bending your knees at all. But you're going to reach up for your same foot with your same hand. If you can't grab your foot, just grab the ankle, the shin, the knee, wherever you make the connection. It's good. Once you've made it, you're going to roll forward. You feel that sacrum, the low part of your back, pressing into the mat. <coughs> And then let yourself rock from side to side, giving yourself a little spinal massage. Should feel good as you do the rock. If it doesn't, maybe you need to stay still. And that will feel better, right? You can always change your leg position once you're here, whether you're rocking or not. Maybe your legs want to come now wider, straighter, bent more, butted more, change where you're holding on to them. All good, right? Find somewhere where it just feels really delicious to you. Whatever that is, let yourself hang out there three or four breaths. Now from here, you're going to take your knees, tug them all the way in to your chest. And we're going to finish off here with our final twist. So you're going to take your arms out long in that T position, right? like we did at the beginning of class. You're just going to let both knees drop over to the right as your chin and your gaze come over your left shoulder. Now, you can make this more if you want. Take your right hand, press your knees closer to the earth. Or maybe you extend both legs this time so that both legs reach toward your right fingertips. Or you can just stay where you are. Key is to keep the left shoulder anchored. That's what's giving you the twist. next here bring the knees back up to center and now we're going to drop the knees over to the left so you're taking your chin and your gaze to the right same thing here right you can stay right here with your knees bent maybe you take your left hand press them down a little closer to the earth maybe you extend them toward your left fingertips find somewhere to be and that feels good to you keep that right shoulder anchored and then let's finish off with these twists Let's peel off our practice, let our bodies remember everything we did today. So next time we come practice yoga, it's all a little easier. We can go everywhere a little deeper. <coughs> As you inhale next, pull your knees back up to center. Give them one final hug into your chest. And we'll set up for our final pose, our Shavasana. Let your legs go long. You can take your hands to your sides. Now palms face up, palms face down. But that's your traditional shavasana, flat on your back. Right? But if it's not comfortable to you, find somewhere else to be. It's okay. You don't have to be flat on your back. You can bend your knees. You can butterfly your legs. You can roll to your belly. Roll to your sides. You can sit up if you need to. Right? So find that place where you're perfectly comfortable, where you're going to be able to stay perfectly still. And most importantly, where your mind is going to be able to go Breath 
guide you to that quiet of the mind. You have no need to control your breath anymore. We're going back part of class. Just let your breath do what it wants to do. As it begins to do its own thing, right? you're going to keep your focus there. Keep noticing what it does, where it goes. Allow it to begin to guide you. Eventually it will take you right to that place where there's nothing left in your mind but you and your breath. That's your true quiet of the mind. Slowly, start to come back into the room. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, feeling that increase sensation that comes from the quiet mind. If you want to here, you can take your arms up and <coughs> overhead, do a nice full, deep body stretch. And then from there, just roll over onto your right side in the fetal position. <coughs> take a couple breaths right there, just reacclimate to our space. Let the sights, the sounds of the room come back to you. Take as long as you need right there. Take them when you're ready. Hold on when you're ready. Push yourself up to seated. And see you in the flow session. All right, so we're gonna close with our two Pomari breaths and then an ohm. Pomari breath, we inhale. We exhale, make that little humming sound in the back of the throat. The ohm is the first syllable. Use all parts of the throat. You can join me in these breaths or you can just listen. Let's close our eyes here. We'll inhale together. just open. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you, all of you, for sharing your energy, your practice with me this morning. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. 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 Right. Thank you, guys. I will see you all Wednesday night for some yin. Um, and tomorrow morning, Liza will be here with uh, her payo in the morning, and Heidi will be here tomorrow night with a little more gentle, right? So if you need more gentle, you can come see her tomorrow night at 7. I will see you all Wednesday. Bye.